there's just so much to see for free walking around. Like, yeah, you can pay to go down in there or you can get the Roma Pass and use that to go down in there. Like, Roma is just absolutely filled with free things to do that you don't have to spend money. So, I don't think I'm going to. And then right across from that amazing town is an even more incredible one with uh, another one of the many Egyptian obelisks that you'll find scattered around Rome. You can maybe see it back there in the background. That is the call. Someone will wander on over there after this. My walking around has caused me to stumble upon my favorite ruins here, which I knew I wanted to come back to. These are the cat ruins, and that is an actual thing. So I'm heading out now. I've got all my pins on my map of things I'd like to see or re-see, but who knows if I will actually do any of that, because I really am just gonna be wandering and uh, look at the fountains and eating some gelato. That's actually probably one of my first stops is getting some, getting some gelato as I walk by a gelato place. I'm currently walking up on uh, two of the fountains that I wanted to see or re-see. They are both Bernini. And to uh, anyone who doesn't know who he is, he's a, he's a famous sculptor, an absolutely incredible one. Uh, I don't know if any of the fountains can compare. Ooh, great. I don't know if any of the fountains here can compare to uh, the sculptures he has at the Borghese Gallery, which is a must-see, because it has some of Bernini's sculptures. They were some of the most breathtaking I've ever seen in my life. Also, unlike last time I was here, the fountains are actually running. Last time I was in Rome, like all the fountains were broken. It was, it was really weird. And then right across from that amazing fountain is an even more incredible one with uh, another one of the many Egyptian obelisks that you'll find scattered around Rome. How do people not like Rome? What is wrong with you? I mean, this city is just beautiful. In the uh, historic area, it's so large that like you can walk around for hours and just constantly be stumbling upon these incredible things. Look at this great Fountain, guys. I'm gonna be honest, I ain't, I'm not really that hungry, but ha, I almost fell. The restaurants are starting to pack in for lunch, and there's a restaurant right here by this. I think I'm gonna be sitting down there, there. getting myself something. Go on, Pat. Oh, no, not here. Oh. Oh, gotcha. So I stopped at a little stand back there that had a uh, Aroma Pass sign on it by Aroma Pass. And they tell me they don't sell them there. Like, why, why do you have a sign up if you don't sell them there? So I'm not really actively looking for it. I'm just keeping an eye out. Piccolo. And, uh, cool. uh, banana. Yeah. Got myself some much needed cafe gelato. So one of the um, one of the tricks to know if you're going to a good gelato place or not is uh, not necessarily how many people are there because a lot of that's tourists. It's how high is the gelato. So generally speaking, uh, whenever you see those gigantic mounds of gelato, it's purely to attract the tourists. And they have to actually make it differently than typical gelato in order to make the mounds like that. So what you actually want to look for is the gelato where it's actually level with the pan. Those are the good ones. This right here is a prime example of one of the things I love about Rome and walking around here. Is it's just this, it's just surrounded by all these modern buildings. This is what I was familiar with last time I was here. Found it's not running. I need to refill my water over here. Just so everybody knows, the water fountains here scattered throughout are, uh, are actually good filtered water. So just refill your water bottle. 
and uh, you can look at this. There's just so much to see for free walking around. Like, yeah, you can pay to go down in there or you can get the Roma Pass and use that to go down in there. Like, Roma is just absolutely filled with free things to do that you don't have to spend money. So, I don't think I'm going to. And I think I'm gonna go the free route for Rome on this trip. It'll make up a little bit for like the $75 meals and stuff like that I've had. Because of all the, uh, all the places I've been, I think one of the most common questions anybody always asks me is where's your favorite place? And generally I say, I, I can't choose, or like, it just depends on like, the mood. Uh, but I usually do say, Italy is my favorite country, and the Amazon is my favorite area, because I love the jungles, and like, a, a jungle, like the rainforest, is just so different than what we're, we have back home. But, I think that if I were to pick a favorite city, I do think I would have to choose Rome. And it's so easy to understand why with all of this. I understand like why my mom picks Egypt because Egypt is incredible and there's just so much to see there that is equally or more impressive than the things you see here. But it's in truth, it's just easier to get around here. It's easier to travel here. Uh, you can get by with just English pretty, pretty easily here. Egypt, it, that's not the case. And they're also trying to just get everything out of you that they can there. Uh, just like the haggling and pestering and everything. See, yet another free thing. Like, you don't have to pay a dime to come down here and look at this. So I am going to give that guy up on the pedestal up there uh, props because when I was walking by, I did legitimately think he was just a statue. And then all of a sudden he moved. And he got some dancers right here. You can maybe see it back there in the background. That is the call. So I'm gonna wander on over there after this. Uh, so I stopped back there at somewhere that actually sold the Roma Pass for once. I opted to not get it because they don't have a 24, it's either 48 or 72 hours. I don't have either of those amounts of time and I don't think the cost justifies it since it doesn't include the Vatican, which is one of the things that I, if I was going to use it, I was gonna use it on the Vatican. They have those, uh, those banner pictures up there looking like statues. That's how every single one of those nooks would have been. They would have all had statues in it. It truly is just absolutely incredible. This was the first historical place that I had ever been that uh, choked me up like that mosaic room did earlier. I mean, it was when I walked in it that I was just like hit with all of its history. The emperor pushed it too far. I mean, I could be wrong on this. I'm going by my sister's telling of history and uh, she's big into this history. But uh, she tells it that uh, they actually slaughtered a basically a crap ton of family of elephants and uh, I mean as you all probably know elephants are highly intelligent and highly emotional animals and that was the first time that people had seen that type of reaction truthfully it's a lot more crowded than I, uh, I was expecting uh, it, this is actually busier than I think it was the last time I was here and uh, last time I was here was uh, September, which you would think would be a pretty similar time to March as far as crowds and temperature and everything like that goes. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is busier. 
I buckled and I bought one of the battery chargers the dudes on the street were selling. So after I sanitized my hands and this battery charger, I'm plugging my phone in. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I did not come out expecting to buy something like this, but it looks absolutely delicious. This is a uh, risotto with uh, beet, I believe, and then a gorgonzola creme. And the gorgonzola, like, I, I thought that might be the killer for me, but it was absolutely delicious, every part of it. And it was only, I believe, 14 euros. I got a glass of white wine, a sweet white wine, which was the sweetest wine I've ever had in my life. Uh, so definitely sugar added to that, and it's caused me to burp quite a bit. So uh, it was good, but it was also very sweet. So I finished off with an espresso, and I'm just gonna sit here a bit before I head back out. That battery charger I bought was not even charging 1%, like it was holding it where it was. So, complete waste of 10 euros. But, oh well, live and learn. Uh, don't buy those battery chargers from the guys outside of the Coliseum. That was some pretty freaking delicious risotto. That meal was a 20, 25 euro uh, for the risotto. Glass of wine, the wine was uh, 6 euros. Bottle of water, 350 euro, and an espresso for two euro. So, and I've been nice, I've been tipping, even though that's not necessarily standard here. I feel like they would probably hit pretty hard over the last couple of years, but truthfully, how, how freaking busy it is here, I gotta imagine they aren't struggling. As I was uh, sitting down at the restaurant, I uh, used their Wi Fi to try to get myself some reservations to get into the Vatican tomorrow. However, that uh, is not happening. As when I went to their website to make reservations and I clicked on tomorrow, absolutely every time block was completely uh, full already. So if the Vatican is a must see for you, uh, even during off season, you need to make your reservations well in advance. So since I couldn't get into the Vatican tomorrow, I didn't want to just wander around. I wanted to pick at least something uh, to pay to get into and see. And I think I'm knowing the Coliseum. Actually, I know I'm knowing the Coliseum because I already paid for it. It was, uh, I think it was 18 euros to make the reservation. And I got the earliest one I could, which was 9.15 in the morning. And uh, uh, it looked like they do like 40 or 50 people per time block. And every time block was like 10 minutes apart. Yeah, I stopped back there to charge up my phone. And, uh, I was not expecting it. As soon as I sat down, I passed out. So, got myself a little nap. So, got me and my phone all charged up, and I'm heading back out now. Just look at these statues across this bridge. They are so incredible. With this backdrop. You guys can judge me all you want, but I got myself some more gelato because it's now my walking around has caused me to stumble upon my favorite ruins here, which I knew I wanted to come back to. These are the cat ruins, and that is an actual thing. See that one right up there? You got this cute one down here. This is a, an actual cat like colony. Um, I, I don't know the law, but basically if there's enough feral cats in an area in Italy, they call it a colony and it's like off limits. And that's more or less what this is. They have these ruins completely to themselves. No people are allowed down in there. They're completely taken care of, vaccinated, fixed. And they get to just chill in these ancient ruins. Look at this one perched up here on this hill. Now they aren't necessarily friendly, they don't want to be petted or touched or whatever, they generally stay away from the, uh, the people, but uh, that don't make them no less cute. I am not sure this what this one here behind me is, but as far as I can tell, it's open right now. So it's just another theater built a... Uh, by a, well, commanded to be built by a Julius Caesar, but not finished in his time. And it's right across from the Temple of Apollo. But uh, this is like, you could fit three of these, three or four of these inside of the Colosseum. This is a 
tiny in comparison, but it is still absolutely incredible and impressive. I still don't know if I was technically allowed down in here, but a lot of other people followed me down, so if I get in trouble, they're all getting in trouble right here. Right after I said that, I got told by someone that this was the exit, and me and all the people who followed me in are getting kicked back out. But it's fine, we all got down in here and got our pictures and everything. I feel like that was that guy's fault for leaving his guard post there at the exit. Because now he is stationed there at the exit. Like, I assume he probably was supposed to be and he left for whatever reason. But, uh, yeah, if you're going to have, like, an exit like that that is open and people can walk into it, uh, you should probably have, like, someone stopping you from stopping the people from walking in whenever they, uh, are idiots. So, this here is that, uh, the other side of that theater. You can still kind of see it right there. And, uh, this side shows the, um... It was actually converted into like a fort by, I don't know, some rich people. I don't remember the name I read on the sign. Look at this awesome ancient archway you get to just walk under. So here's one major recommendation I've got for you when you're roaming around Rome. Don't just go to the spots, the lookouts, the areas that you see crowds of people. Obviously go there because there's probably a reason you see crowds of people, be it views or the site itself or whatever but i have a, i have the forum next to me the forum and it's it's massive i mean for anybody who doesn't know i mean it's it covers a very very large area by the coliseum and uh everybody kind of goes to like a couple standard lookouts and i've been walking around it for a bit now going to like different angles and stuff and do that like walk around it because you will get better angles from all over without any people around. Obviously some area is covered by trees and stuff like this, but, but there's just like no one coming down this, uh, this street that I'm coming down right now. So I get to get away from the massive crowds on the other side of this, but I still get to see this. And they're nice enough to put the bars just far enough apart that you could easily squeeze your phone in and get your photos. So this large stretch of land that just looks like a park down here was actually the Circus Maximus. This is uh, where they had uh, the chariot races, which uh, they might not seem like it, but were extremely dangerous and deadly. I mean, it was it was like a modern NASCAR. But with NASCAR, you're just wanting to see a crash, but you rarely do. Circus Maximus, you 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 saw it, it, they happen all the time. Wheels breaking, horses falling, whatever. But it is absolutely massive. I mean, just like everything on video, it's not going to really show its size. I mean, you can see the people walking around down there. I uh, I'm just pulling this number out from my memory and I'm probably completely wrong about it but I want to say it fit like like 150,000 people or something like that as spectators around it, it truly is like massive it's just such a shame that like the actual stadium structure itself is is pretty much completely gone all you have now is the the outline of what it was down here there's there's some buildings down over there but for the most part it's just a big flat open area anymore with the forum over there. I wanted to note for anybody uh, who might not want to walk as much as I'm walking. They have multiple cheap or easy ways to get around without walking here. Um, the metro is, the, the bus system is super easy to use. You literally just hop on, hop off. There's stops absolutely anywhere that you might want to go. You do not have to pay the exorbitant fees for the uh, hop on hop off hop on hop off bus because uh i think that's like 30 euros or something like that whereas you can get a day pass for the metro for a few euros or if you have the roma pass the metro is included and truthfully i never got checked to see if we even had a ticket when we took it last time and then if you don't want to use the metro uh, this is new since the last time i was here um, they have 
the floor rent, uh, lime, uh, electric scooters, electric bikes, all that for rent all over the city, like absolutely everywhere. So if you want to use that to get around, you can do that too. Uh, I did consider it, but I don't want to deal with having to think about running into people or cars. I would rather just be able to enjoy the sights as I'm walking around. So there are two options for you to easily get around without walking if you don't want to. My phone's making it super bright and kind of killing the look of it. I just wanted to show that just because you saw the stuff at night, I mean in the day, does not mean you should not come out at night and see them. Because the way they are lit up and everything, it just gives it all a completely different look and experience. And the Coliseum actually has night tours if you wanted to go in there at night rather than during the day. Well, I finally got uh, myself a table with this view. I decided I would do a different type of spritz and dry, and I'm still not a fan of them. I'm gonna drink it because it was given to me, but I'm still not a fan of them. But I'm actually signing on because there are these girls across from me at the Coliseum that have spent at least 20 minutes trying to get their perfect Instagram shot. But I can understand Ready? the people who are just sitting over there admiring it, English, taking English. it in. Ready? But to spend 20, 30 minutes to get a photo just seems so freaking stupid to me. Oh, I finished that pizza. Well, mostly finished that pizza up just in time because the rain is uh, starting to come. So I'm kind of going to walk at a brisk pace back to my uh, back to my room before it really starts raining. It was supposed to not rain until 11, but Google lied to me. But now on to the topic of that food. Uh, I try not to talk negatively when I'm at the place. Uh, I'm not going to bash their food. This is pizza in Rome in general. Roman pizza is okay, but don't come to it thinking it's going to be incredible because in truth, if I'm being honest, you can get pizza way better back home in the States. But Nepali pizza, it's a completely different thing. And it is freaking delicious. I'm back in my room for the night. The rain has decided I am done for the night. So I'm going to uh, sit here, maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. Maybe nibble on some, uh, some of these. I have no idea how they are yet. I'm sure they're nothing like what you would get in France. But uh, I realized I did not say anything about the price of that pizza. I only complained about the taste. It was honestly super expensive too. I think it was 13 euros. So it was over double the cost of a pizza that was actually good in Sorrento. I don't know how much that had to do with the location, it being right there by the Coliseum. Um, but truthfully, even the other meal I had earlier it was more reasonably, it was actually cheaper than that pizza. And it was one like street over from that. So you're definitely going to be paying more if you want those views. I would say it's probably worth it for the views, but just don't get pizza. I don't really have anything else to say. So like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, for real phone companies, you need to get your sh together and make your screens better because i don't know if you guys know this but we live on a planet that has sun and when it's sunny like this even on full brightness you can't see a damn thing on your phone screen so make better freaking screens samsung